Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Fighting Game Freak Out! Today we are playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, last year, well, almost last year, we fought Onslaught in the first Marvel vs. Capcom, and you can see down there, a couple months back we fought Magneto from X-Men Children of the Atom. But today! We are playing Marvel's Capcom 2. So let me tell you my glorious adventure with this game. So, I'm playing the Dreamcast version. It looks super beautiful. It looks solid. However, there's some audio problems. And as I'm fighting Abyss and the characters I'm going to pick, um, sometimes the sound gets all screwy. So if, like, you hear a ch -ch 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 -ch, just know that that's the game being stupid. And it only happens with first form abyss and beam supers. I don't know why it happens, but you know that's the case. So I have to pick characters that don't have beams, which is pretty difficult. Second, um, second off, um, I played the PS2 version, and I also recorded that. I recorded this game. This is my third time recording this. And quite frankly, I'm fed. Up. I am fed up at this point with recording this game over and over and over. So if I sound a bit pessimistic, that's why. But it's a fighting game freak out episode. What do you expect? Oh yeah, and we're fighting Abyss today. Even though uh, you probably would have gathered that from the title. So yeah, what characters are we pick? Well, as you can see, there are 56 characters in this roster, which is a huge amount. Unfortunately, half of them suck. <laughs> so, you know, I'm gonna have to pick some bad ones here and there. Um, basically, you know, I could pick characters like Cable and, you know, uh, Magneto again, and Sentinel and Storm. You know, those are the top four of this game. But I'm not gonna do that! Uh, I'm gonna be super masochistic today. I'm gonna pick easily uh, what I believe the top three worst characters. Um... Obviously, you know, we gotta give Star Gladiator some love. <laughs> uh, we're gonna pick Hayato, because uh, he is especially a really bad character. We're gonna choose Anti-Air type. Eh, we're gonna pick... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're gonna pick um, a character who is especially bad at things, but can somewhat deal with the final boss. The worst character in the game, in fact, is Roll. We're gonna pick her and make her projectile type. And finally, to round things off, the ultimate joke character to end all joke characters, Dan Hibiki. We gotta include Dan. Yeah, we're fighting the Abyss today. Basically, I'm gonna make this super duper brutal on myself today. I kept picking characters that I was actually decent with. I have almost, I know how to play these three. It's just, I have no idea how to do it. And I picked a badass skin for Hayato, because I know how to do that. Okay. Yeah! Okay. So as you can see, this is first form of this. He's out. Um. Oh Jesus, no! <laughs> oh God! Oh Jesus! Oh, it's it's super bad. It's super hard when you play characters and you know they suck. Ah! <laughs> and if you look at my continue counter, I lost many times before this. Even though he's a very... No! Don't die! Okay. Uh... Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Okay. He's very susceptible to anti-airs, because if you anti-air him... Oh, my God! What the fuck? Oh, my God. He kept gadookening. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna switch back to roll. Hopefully, I can heal a lot of this damage. As I'm going. This is gonna be a tough ass episode, let me tell you. Okay, I didn't realize you can move here. Ah, get in there, roll! Damn it. Oh god, bubbles. Oh god, how I hate the bubbles. No, 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 stop it. Okay. Mega roll! How do I not get mega roll? That's weird. I can't even use Dan's demon if I felt like it. Okay, yeah. 
Actually, Roll, Roll is reported to be so bad that she actually has her own tier, uh, her own bottom tier, just for her. She's that awful. Oh my god, no! That, that stupid super beam should have taken a whole lot more than... Oh my god, I'm gonna lose Roll before Abyss 2 is even dead. Damn it! Now I just have to get in there as Dan, because he has no projectiles. Get out of here, Dan! Oh my god, this is, this is actually quite difficult! <laughs> oh god, I couldn't even beat second form! It's so hard! Oh, I should, I, okay, I have to save Hayato. That's what I realized, I have to use Dan first. Cause Hayato at the end can actually might can actually be slightly useful against Abyss 3. But just uh I had the idea of doing triple rolls, but that would be absolutely impossible. Okay. Clearly I need to do this so strategy. Oh, if you wanted a long episode, oh you're getting it. <laughs> This is brutal. Doing it with bad character. Like, Abyss was never that hard. Like, as a kid, I couldn't fight him because I sucked at fighting games. Even though Model 2 is one of the first fighting games I truly got invested with. Apart from, like, Soul Calibur or something. Come on, you kid! Oh, damn it. Those aren't just hyper grabs. Oh, you kid! Oh, God. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Glitches. Sound glitches. Okay, right, here we go. Call you again. Here we go. I don't know. I'm probably not the first one to say this, but like, no, I didn't mean to do this. All right, Hayato's already screwed early. Oh my god, just kill him, Dan. No, I didn't mean to do that! Oh, I can't do it! He doesn't do the move when you ask him to. I got hit from that. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm already at a disadvantage. Alright, well, we gotta do this. Hayato is already hurt. No, the controls, the controls are so counterintuitive. Let me jump! I can't get out! Oh my god, this is so awful! I can't get out! I can't- I seriously can't get out of the corner. I can't even- I can't jump! I have to use a super to get out of this! I don't want this. Oh my god, a rush drill is actually gonna not be that bad. Ow! Oh, no! How to get hit? Just take it. Just take it up the booty. <laughs> Kill you! Oh my god, no. There's nothing I can do with high auto. No! No! I can't even get to Abyss 3. I can't do it. I might need the help of more bad characters in order to get out of this. This is really hard! Stop it! Stop! No, I got killed? Are you serious? The game didn't even count my last continue. It didn't even count it. Wow. I didn't... <laughs> if I didn't fudge it up earlier with the stupid controls, I'd be able to do it. Okay. Clearly I need someone better than Roll, but also not that good. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can f get Elite here. Hmm. Oh, actually Dan can work. For Abyss 1 and somewhat Abyss 2, well, not even. Actually, I can throw Dan away after that. After Abyss 1, and then throw him into Abyss 2. And, well, actually, no, Abyss 3, I mean. The thing is then, what do I do? That, that's the thing. What do I do for Abyss 2? Uh, maybe... Hmm. The thing is, it needs to be someone heavily based on projectiles. Like, like someone who's, like, asininely associated with projectiles. It's like, who do I use for that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything at this point. 
At this point, I don't even understand what is going on. Uh, Felicia can rush things down, but she's too lewd for this. So is Morgan, they're too lewd. Has lewdness ever stopped anybody? Probably. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Tron. Tron's actually too good. She, she's really good. Like, Tron is, like, weirdly too good. Uh, not Ryu. <laughs> eh, awkwardly mispronounced Ryu. I could go with three dance. Honestly, three dance would be better than having Roll on your team. Like, these two, like, three of these two would probably be infinitely better than having Roll on your team. Because, dear God, man. Like, this is even harder than the first try. Okay. Also, is that this too is being a bit of a joik. Uh, hmm. I could just go to Mega Man. I think Mega Man's actually not that bad in this game. I don't know. Oh, wait, you actually have to charge his beam. You actually have to charge it up. Which, you'll still get hit anyway. Actually, I could use BB Hood for that. I'll use BB Hood. And then, obviously, I'm gonna use Projectile Tight. And then I'll go into Hayato with his amazing costume. His amazing dark costume. Alright, Abyss, you're going down! That's it, we traded one comically anime blonde girl for another comically anime blonde girl. So basically nothing changed. <laughs> and I'm still using Capcom characters. And then again, in the first model vs. Capcom, I did the exact same thing, I'm getting hit. What the hell? That one super takes half your health away? Oh my, I can't... The thing is, you can't ever get sure you. The problem is, if you get hit with this, you take an ass load of chip damage anyway. Or, you know, you can just not jump over and ban. That's cool. Okay, hold on. Oh, please don't chip me out. Or you can just get hit for reals. Yeah! There we go! Finish! <laughs> there you go. Okay. So I'm gonna save all my characters after they kill a guy. So, there you go. Fight! Go right into BB Hood. Oh my god. Oh, why are these... Okay, the sound effects suck. No, no. Alright, I need to use super. Ugh, blast him! Kill him! Die, you're the worst Star Stalker ever! Just kill him! <laughs> I have no clue how to play BB Hood correctly. Oh god, just shoot the bubbles! Shoot the bubbles! What the? Oh my god, what? This is literally all he's doing. Oh god, he's too close for comfort. No! Oh my god, really? He just plays cheap. No! Oh my god, he's gonna kill. He's gonna hit Hayato before phase 3 starts. Oh my, this is so unfair! He just keeps going in the bubble non-stop! This is ridiculous! He's actually just gonna whittle me down with chip damage! This isn't even fair anymore! Oh my god! I've never had this much trouble against Abyss 2! Okay, here we go, finally! Dear god! Alright, there's another character. Did, did he just summon a random Star Gladiator character to screw it? Damn! This is really hard! No, I need to hit his ball. Oh yeah, that's the thing, you can also hit his ball. And that damages him, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? That super did nothing! Wait, he's over here? How is he over here? The sound effect's still going. Love this glitch. Good thing it makes the graphics beautiful. Alright. Alright, I thought I was getting a hit from that. Oh shit! Oh, I thought we were gonna die. What the hell? Come on! 
Damn it all! So what like Beanie Hood, I just gotta spam that freaking super. Okay, I know what I know. Here's my game plan. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get in there. First I'm gonna use Dan. Beat up first form. Then I'm gonna go into BB Hood. Blast him with supers. Then after that, I'm gonna use both of them to try to get through Abyss 3. And then I was able to get around half health with Hayato on Abyss 3. So, at that point I'll probably have whittled him down enough and then be able to kill him. Okay? That's the strategy. Holy God, this is hard! This is actually difficult. If you, if you play characters you know how to use, you're gonna win. <laughs> No, not again! Come on, not that again! Alright, at least let me get out of the way! Why didn't you jump over him, you dingus? There you go. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, come on! It's delayed release! It's so stupid! Never mind, I'm not gonna be able to use Dan, because he just dies before I even... That's it, I'm dead. He's, I'm gonna lose him before the freaking match ends! Oh my god, he just kills them before the- I swear I'm not doing this on purpose! I would tell you if I was, but literally one and a half characters are already dead because of first form! This is impossible to complete! Um, I can't- I can't fuck up first form. I can't do that. Oh my god, okay. And then Abyss 2 just gets insanely cheap. Alright, and then just, you have to blast him with this. Constantly. What, I did a push block? Why would I do that? Alright, there. Hyper combo finish. There you go. Because you don't really need supers against Abyss 3. Maybe this is the preferred strategy. Maybe Dan went down with pride. Who knows? This is how you make it this hard, folks. You have to pick the worst characters in the game. Shoot it! Oh god, no! Stop it. You are a monster. I am not even gonna let... He is not the Halloween special. Keep this in mind. I was gonna make him the Halloween special, but then I realized he was easy as shit. And I didn't know this was gonna happen! Okay, so the whole theory that he, that BB Hood and Dan were really half his health... Oh, by the way, no. What the hell did I just show you? Okay, that was a good time to show you. What are you doing? Like, what are you even doing? Alright, uh, Hayato is probably gonna win. Maybe. I have a chance at being able to beat this. Oh god, no. Oh, come on. Abyss is an original character, keep that in mind. They designed him specifically for this game. Oh my god, really? You're gonna be right there. Oh, never mind. Alright, just get out of there. Oh my god, I don't know where he is. I don't have super anymore. This is extremely risky. Come on, Hayato, just kill him! Find him! No! God damn it! Oh, come on! Are you serious? He kept dodging around! He kept skipping around! I couldn't get him! Damn it! It's so hard! Oh my god, if I would have just gotten a little more damage as BB Hood, and if I was able to use Dan, never mind, I have to be able to do that, because if I can't do it, then there's no way, because then he just starts doing that shit. Oh, oh, the reason everybody has this golden, bo this golden border here is because I have the hidden colors unlocked, because I had to unlock everything myself, because the Dreamcast version, you don't just get everything from the get-go, which is stupid. You should be able to do that in a fighting game. Get everything unlocked to begin with, but no. No. 
I realized something. His, if with Dan, his normals are actually stronger than his specials. On the, oh, the problem is there's too much lag on everything he does. Like the only thing that the only special that's worth a damn is Koryukin. And at the time it sucks anyway. Oh, you didn't jump over it. Thank you. That's this really that really helps, Dan. That really helps. Oh my god, Dan just dies before the Oh no! Okay, just finish him. There we go. Thank you. Dan, you actually did it. You survived. Okay, so now I gotta get BB Hood in here. Please don't go left. Please don't go left. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, so throw your fire. No, I didn't mean to do this! Oh my god, don't chip him out. Okay, thank you. I pushed the wrong buttons again. Oh, that's cheap. That is real cheap. That's also real cheap. There we go, again, hyper combo finish. Okay. So I got the good hunting. Ha! Here we go, BB Hood. So now we got a disc three. And I'm just gonna throw in. So I'm just gonna get as much damage as I can in BB Hood. Sorry. Oh god, I made a mistake. Okay, there we go. I had, I had BB Hood take the hit. I need him to take that hit as well. Well, I wasted that super. Oh my god, am I gonna kill him in BB Hood? Screw it! No, I wanted all three of my members to be alive! No! Okay, Dan, if you finish this, you'll have... You'll be the strongest fighter in the universe. No! God dang it! He was doing that move! Okay, well, the very least he's gonna spawn right there. Okay, please don't. No! Please don't kill me. Here we go. It's it. You're done. No! Oh my god, he's he's right at the end of his life. Oh my god, please! Where is he? Oh my god, he just dodges. He just dodges that super. Oh my god, he has point one life left. Yeah, we did it! One point of health remaining, we did it! Oh my god, that was the hardest. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. With good characters, you can probably do it. Even like moderately, like... I can't seem to get a high score in this game. Okay, lesson learned. If you want to make Marvel 2 a challenge, play as extremely bad characters. Because somehow you'll trigger the game to become a cheating motherfucker. So Ruby Heart grabs Abyss's ball, and she's like, mm, I don't think so. And she just chucks it over her boat, and it kerplunks into the water for Abyss to never be seen again. Yeah, he's gone. He never showed up again. Ryu and Cyclops are still best friends, even though in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, their <laughs> Cyclops is dead. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. Well, let me just skip this credits thing. Um, yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. It might be out by the time it, this video's up or not, but that game looks extremely hype. I didn't mention it during Magneto because at the date of recording that, I didn't know it existed. So there we go. Uh, I think, yeah, huh. <laughs> uh, Mary Jane or Gwen, sorry. Uh, Spider-Man found a new girl. Uh, yeah, some of these dreams will be dead. But yeah, so, yeah, some of these combinations just don't make any sense. But you know what? That was Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and Hayato and Wolverine seem to have a, lot, a rivalry with one another, which I don't know why, considering, I mean, they're both pretty low tier. Because well, he's Wolverine! He's... Dang it, he sucks in this game! I remember now. Well, there we go. They fly off into the moonlight. Or the sun's- or the sunrise. Which, if it is the sun, they are all going to die. Finn. 
Oh, look at that pixelated fin. Mm-mm-mm. There we go. Marvel and Capcom. There you go. ADX. Thank you for playing. Presented by Kapukamu. Thank you. Game over. Challenge again. There we go. We got 4,290 points. Oh, thank you. You gave me 4,000 score. Because, dear lord. And, uh, oh, first? Oh. Oh, never mind. That was just their score. Captain Kamu. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. New Age of Heroes. There you go. Let's hop in here and we'll just check the option mode real quick. Game option. Hardest difficulty. And I set it on Turbo because uh, Turbo 2 is insane. And why would I screw mess around with the free select? Anyway, that was Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Definitely a lot harder because of the bad characters. But you know what? Still had a nice time. You didn't die that many times. And, you know what? Always gives us some hype for Marvel Infinite. But until then, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.